Nice yeah. to meet you too. Yeah. Oh no, are you unwell? A little bit. My kids got me sick. Oh, or I got my kids sick. <laughs> or maybe it's a Ooh, I love your shoes. Oh, nice thank color. You. Thanks. So I love the movie. Oh, great. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. It was so funny. Thank you. <laughs> what was it like for you to get back into character as Gamora? Did you find it easier this time? Or oh, yes. I think. Excuse me. I think it's always easy. It's easier for me. I to get back into a character that I've I've done before. Yeah. Um because it it all it's it's you just have to dust things off and and really always trust your director and and follow his lead. And I'm I'm one of those actors I like to follow my director's lead. Yeah. Um but it's always fun. The makeup process is not <laughs> is not fun. But we made progress the second time around because the first time it was 5 hours and this time it was 4. Yeah, just a little bit better. <laughs> I have to be half full, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What's it like being on working even with Chris Pratt? Is he as funny as he seems? He's so, super funny. It's yeah. it's just great. We all get along, and and uh, Chris is really funny, so he's always entertaining us. And um, and Dave is is such a gentle giant. He's very soft spoken, so you're always going what? Because <laughs> he whispers a lot. Really? And um, and then Karen and Palm. It was wonderful to have like women on set, you know? Yeah. Because sometimes being the only girl can get quite lonely, even though men tend to take care of you and they baby you a lot. But yeah. it's always good to have like girl power, girl you power know, on together. set. Yeah, definitely. There are a lot of 80s references in the movie. If you could pick one 80s movie that you'd like to star in, what would it be? The Goonies. But they wouldn't hire me. I'm too old right now. I would have, I would have loved to have been in the Goonies. It's been six years since you starred in Columbiana. Uh huh. Um, almost. And we've heard that there are talks of a sequel potentially. That would be amazing. Would you, yeah. Is that something you'd be keen on doing? Or? You guys have to send a message to Luc Besson. He's the producer of it. Please, you I love that movie. Tell Luke, I need it. <laughs> um, from Europa Corp, Luc Besson. That um, we everybody's asking for Colombiana too. Yeah. So I would love to do it. It would, I would be fun. It. So it's literally one of my favorite movies. Nice. I'd love. I'd love it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> also, because you were talking about the makeup process earlier for Gamora, so you've done green now and you've got blue and Avatar. What's your next color? <laughs> I would love to be in this color. <laughs> Just do natural color. It's okay. Um, but I did. I did a movie in between. Uh, space movies called Live by Night and I also did another one called I Kill Giants. It's a very small independent movie based on a graphic novel yeah. and um, and I, I shot it in Ireland last year. I had a blast. But um, you know what? I would be any color. Yeah. As long as I get to be a part of like great movies that inspire people, especially the younger audience, it's like why, why not? You know? Yeah. <laughs> and you know your co-star Karen Obviously, shaved her head for the first movie of this. Is she there did. Any, is there anything that you wouldn't do for a role, or are you pretty much game for anything? Not everything. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do just anything for a role. As in, would you, as in physically, would you shave your head? I would. I, I, I totally would. <laughs> but I wouldn't like cut a finger for a role. No. No. Oh God. Well, no. I, mean, <laughs> I don't think it, it depends on what role. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, just, just the pinky. Yeah. <laughs> So you've obviously got two adorable twin boys. That's so cute. Yeah, I have uh, three boys. I have yeah, twins. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Oh, you were gonna boys. get there. I jumped yeah. again. <laughs> <No>. Sorry. <we? laughs> There's obviously a bit of twin fever in the air at the moment. So George Clooney and Mal expecting twins, and Beyonce and Jesse as well. Do you have any advice for them? Um, first um, of all, they're copycats. <laughs> we did it first. By the way, um, uh, actually, uh, routines. Yeah. It will save your sanity. It will save your marriage. It's just keeping your twins on a routine is uh, probably the best thing uh, that you can ever do for them primarily and then for yourself. So bath time at a certain hour, sleep time at a certain hour, eating at a certain hour, and for you to do it, for them to do it all, always together. together. That way they learn to be around each other. Even when one wants to do something and the other one doesn't, they still have to be with each other. Yeah. And um, that that has been our, 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 our secret weapon, our secret Easy. recipe, everything. Going back to the movie, Gamora and her sister, Nabula, obviously have this rivalry, and in this movie, I really—they love it. each other. What are you I talking know. about? They get along just fine. They're the best. 
Just like sisters. Yeah. <laughs> Growing up with your sister, did you ever have any competitiveness between you? Or were you we just... were, I mean, competitive, but like as far as like healthy sisterhood goes, yeah. you know. You didn't want to kill each other. We, no, we fought. I mean, oh. but we would fight over over jeans, over dolls, over games, over mommy's attention, yeah. over who would write um, shotgun, over who would clean the dishes. Like, <laughs> um, I was very possessive with my sisters. So whenever they brought over a best friend, I was so mean to those girls or boys. <laughs> um, Cause I would be so jealous. So um, it was just great when we turned you know, when we were like in our 20s and we sort of like grew out of it. But we're actually writing a sitcom based on our, our, our lives growing up together as young adults in New York because at one point when we were like in our early 20s, we all lived together in a three bedroom apartment and my sister was a single mom of a little girl. So um, those, we were still fighting. Oh my God, <laughs> it was crazy. I can imagine all under one roof. <laughs> Oh, that sounds great. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was great. It was lovely talking to you. And Likewise. Better. Thank you. I'll try.